So you mentioned too that it becomes a fixture of the house. So do you are you penetrating the roof with these things? How do you keep yeah, them up there? That's a good question. So um, so many good questions, Aaron. You've clearly been doing. I'm a smart guy. Bought <laughs> here. The um, there are in most cases we have to penetrate the roof because what we're looking to attach to is the rafters that are holding up the roof decking. Mm-hmm. And so in the old days of solar, you know the the jurisdiction, you know the 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 authority having jurisdiction, as we would call it, would say, as long as you put some roof caulk into those penetrations, you're good to go. But the problem is with the UV impact on that, 10 or 15 years down the road, that stuff is going to break down. And so um, early on, installer started adopting a, a, a metal flashing that fits up underneath the comp shingle. And so it, it essentially creates a weatherproof seal a flashing, which is which is an expensive part of the install, uh, believe it or not, because there's a lot of those flashings that you need to, to attach the array to the roof, um, and have never had a, a, a roof leak around a flashing yet. You know, knock on wood, but that it's a very effective way to attach to a house. Standing seam metal roofs don't require any penetrations, and so you attach to the metal seam, and that's that is uh, compliant with the building codes. But every other application besides a flat roof where you can just literally lay it on the roof inside of a ballast tray requires some penetration or another. Okay. Just can't wait.